has found former Blue Bulls flanker Joseph Nchongwana guilty of four charges of murder. The court has also convicted him of two attempted murder charges, assault, rape and kidnapping. I accordingly find that the accused has the necessary criminal capacity when committing the various offences in counts one to nine. Nullifying the defense's claim that Nchongwana suffered from a delusional disorder when he committed the crimes. The random killing spree dates back to 2010. He hacked four strangers to death. In an unrelated incident, he attacked two men with an axe. They survived. He also kidnapped a woman and raped her at his Yellowwood Park home near Durban. The defense said Nchongwana suffered from amnesia, but the court said evidence proved that his conduct during all the attacks was rational. It said wiping off blood from his bathroom floor and hiding the weapon showed that he was fully conscious. Evidence led by the state was largely unchallenged. Uh, one, please stand up. The accused has only <coughs> now been convicted of the nine counts Five of those counts carry the prescribed sentence as imprisonment for life. Outside court, relatives of the victims hailed the verdict. I think the entire family will be happy upon hearing this judgment and the whole nation. Fellow taxi passengers also prayed for me and wished the murderer will be given life sentences. I'm very much happy because we've been through this thing for more than years and years, but at least justice today was done. The judge rejected the defense's plea to bring in another clinical psychologist as a witness, and Chongwana will be sentenced next Wednesday.